The t-shirt has been a classic in menswear since the 1950s. It's the ultimate symbol of laid-back, casual style. Worn correctly, you'll look strong, muscular, and cool. But if you screw it up, you'll look sloppy and unkempt. Thomas with Real Men Real Style here. Today, I'm going to show you the three big mistakes men make when it comes to their t-shirts. The first thing guys get wrong is going with graphic tees. Now don't misunderstand me. There's a time and a place for a fun graphic tee, but if you wear these all the time and you're in your 30s, 40s, or 50s, you're going to look like a kid that never grew up. Instead, go for a solid colored tee. It looks much more mature and flattering. The next mistake is choosing the wrong color. Grabbing a t-shirt in a loud color, especially one that doesn't complement your complexion, is going to make you look like you don't know how to dress yourself. If you have a high contrast between your skin and hair, a dark color like navy, black, or charcoal gray is going to be very flattering. If you have a lower contrast, look for lighter colors like a heather gray or pastels. The right color is the difference between an outfit that looks sharp and intentional and one that is sloppy and low effort. The final mistake, and the biggest one of all, is most men don't get the right fit. Wearing a t-shirt that doesn't fit correctly is going to minimize your best features and highlight your worst ones. The perfect fit is going to make you look strong and masculine. So what does the correct fit look like? To start, you need to nail the fit in the shoulders. It can't be easily tailored or adjusted later. So do not buy a t-shirt if it doesn't fit you here. A t-shirt that is too small is going to have a shoulder seam that has hiked up your traps while a t-shirt that's too large is going to have a seam that's drooping down your arm. The correct fit is going to have a seam that's going to stop right where the shoulder bone ends. Next, let's talk about the torso. If the t-shirt's too small, you'll definitely feel it, as the fabric's going to feel tight and constricting. If it's too big, you're going to have tons of excess material in the chest and waist. Whether you're a small guy or a big guy, if it's too big here, it's going to make you look like you're swimming in your clothing. The correct fit is going to sit close to your body with a couple extra inches of fabric to spare. All right, gents, whether you're using an electric safety or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave ball. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now, gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously, gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. Now, let's talk about the neck. A crew or v-neck is going to look great on almost any man. The trick is to avoid t-shirt necks that are too large. A scoop or deep v-neck are going to show way too much skin, and unless you're very muscular, can be a bit feminine looking. So instead, stick to the classic v-neck or crew neck. Next, we have the sleeve length. If your t-shirt sleeves are too short, it's going to be a more feminine look, unless you have very muscular arms. But you also want to avoid sleeves that completely cover the biceps. You want to be able to show off the guns a little bit. The correct fit is going to end mid-bicep, which is going to be the most flattering look no matter what your arm size. Next, let's talk about the sleeve width. It's going to be pretty easy to tell if it's too small. You shouldn't feel like the circulation is being cut off to your arm. But unless you have very large arms, you'll often find that t-shirt sleeves are too large with tons of extra room. The problem is this makes your arms look smaller, especially if you're already a thin guy. The correct fit will lightly hug your bicep, but won't feel tight or uncomfortable. Now finding a t-shirt that fits you in all these areas off the rack can be a bit tricky. So check out this video where I show you how to tailor any t-shirt to fit you perfectly. Next up, how long should the t-shirt be? One that is too short is going to show off your belly whenever you lift your arms. But if the t-shirt is completely covering your rear end, then it's definitely too long. Remember, it's a t-shirt, not a dress. The correct length will sit two to four inches below your belt line. So now you know how to rock your t-shirt, but what about your dress shirt? Check out this video guys, where I show you how to get the perfect fitting dress shirt. 